In this video, we will be discussing the optimal setup for your gun sexual dogs. Dogs do a ton load of damage, so don't go sleeping on them. Barusu helped me out in this video, and he even did a run on the Master Rank Raytheon, which took less than 4 minutes. It was a capture and not a kill, but still a great display of the damage potential your dogs can do to the monster if set up properly. Best gear to actually put in our Palamutes would be the new Palamute Silk Binder. To unlock the Palamute Silk Binder during MR2 progression, you'll get a request from Gatlin, who will give you a side quest called Palamute Gear Power Up. Your task is to collect two Steel Gajau Whiskers, then return to her. Throw Arm Scroll is a scroll with an explosive salve for weapons like Kunai. Its effects last for a limited time. This would be the scroll that we will use if we want damage from the Palamutes. Now, Upon testing, Throw Arm Scroll increases ranged attacks of the Palamute by around 15% and has a 5-10% to chance to deal an additional 15% more damage. When it activates, it lasts around 2 minutes and 30 seconds. When it expires, it's pretty inconsistent when it will activate again, but it's around 1-4 to four minutes from the first expiration. Just a fast touch on the other scrolls, Blitz Scroll, a scroll which increases attack speed of the Palamute actually makes the dog shoot faster by 16%. But do not be fooled. The increase in speed is not in the dog's shooting speed. The increase in the speed of the attack is because certain animations made by the dog are the ones being sped up. It makes the dodge animation or jumping animation the dog makes while shooting faster and not the shooting itself. But yeah, you can still say it attacks faster. Blurry Strike Scroll makes attacks become critical hits, giving you around 25% more damage. Heavy Strike Scroll increases range attack by 25 and increases flinch damage. Why are we sticking with Throw Arm Scroll for the best DPS? The exact activation times of these scrolls are really hard to get, but with the testing done, among all the scrolls, Throw Arm is actually the one that activates the fastest. It's consistent. That is why we're going for it. But if you are going for more status, and not damage of course, you would change things up and go for Blitz Scroll. For faster attack rate still. Not high damage, but it does attack more, leading to a faster status buildup. There are a few things you have to know to grasp why Silk Binder is so great. The gun will pop out from your dogs immediately when you apply any type of mount damage on the monster. For the mech Silk Bind shot lovers out there with the LBG, this kind of gives you guys another reason to run that thing. Because it's really easy finding a window to apply mech silk pine shot. The sooner you get it up, the sooner the dogs will start blasting. If ever you don't deal mount damage, it will still activate, but it's going to be random. Not only does silk binder builds mount up really fast, they also have a chance to trap monsters with silk pine strings, which is really good for gunners since you can just wail on them. Now, it's a bit different for unmountable monsters like Narwa, Ibushi, and the final boss. Mount damage do not make them go into Silk Binder mode immediately, but they still eventually somewhere around in the fight. The best weapon for your dogs if you're going for damage would be the Ibushi Pure Sword. Disregard the element, you're after the ranged ability attack. For applying status, for sleep, you can go for the Disaster Rubel. For Paralysis, you can go for the Jelly Travel Bag. For Blast, Scorned Magnamalo's Weapon. For Poison, go for Camellios. We don't actually recommend Blast and Poison. You're better off with the raw setup with Ibushi Pure Sword for better damage. I won't be listing the elemental weapons because it's not really getting optimal DPS from your dogs. The elemental weapons are a bit behind with the raw of the Ibushi Pure Sword and for them to actually beat Ibushi Pure Sword, your dog should be firing at the good spots where the monster has the good elemental hit zones, which won't be realistic. Anyway, let's go over the skill setups for your dogs. We have two setups, one for pure damage and one for status buildup. Range attack up gives you plus 25% ranged attack. Range centric makes them not go next to the monster putting them at the better spot for their Silk Binder Pew Pew shots. Piercing attack up gives 5% more damage for the piercing attacks of your dogs. This also apply for the Silk Binder. Attack up large gives plus 25 attack. Attack up S gives 12 attack. Status attack up gives 20% more status. Do not forget to put your dogs into follow behavior so they get good piercing lines. To get the perfect dog, do not forget to do the delivery quest. You need to get 3 buddies of yours to a skill memory of 8. Once you do that, you can now change up the skills of your buddies. 
It makes grinding for that perfect Palico and Palamute easy. That's it guys. Hopefully this video helps. Try out these dog setups. Get the word out. I want to see randoms out there with dogs with guns at their backs. I'll see you guys in the next one.